our study uh, is a little different than the broader field. The broader field is we're trying to figure out when do people have a seizure. And this is not in the psychogenic epilepsy patients, but in the epilepsy patients, because we believe the mechanisms are very different. But in those people with epilepsy, we think that there may be ways to guess ahead of time the chance that someone's going to have a seizure in the same way that we know the chance is going to snow or have a hurricane soon. So uh, similar to those methods where we're trying to guess the weather, you can't know for sure, and you're not always going to be right. But it is possible that systems do have predictable features and you can begin to find those features. And if you measure them properly then, and you do the right math, you may get to an answer that is helpful in terms of planning what should I do next and what should I not do next. In our case, we said it would be wonderful if everyone had EG on their head, but that's not practical. What is practical is for people to mark down a diary electronically and say when they they had a seizure and when they didn't have seizures. So there's a large group of people that do this already. And we retrospectively studied a subset of those people who had enough seizures that we could make some uh, interesting things to say about. And we use that subset to teach an AI algorithm based on deep learning, how the patterns evolve over time. And then we took a completely different group of people that the AI had never seen before and we said, okay, Here's their diaries up until now. Tell us what's the chance of seizure tomorrow. And then it gave us a number and we then moved the clock one day forward and we said, here's all the seizures up until that day. What's the, what's the chance of seizure tomorrow and so on. And we went and we moved through time in those patients. And um, so our validation, meaning our, our, our testing of these uh, ideas was over 1,613 patients. And we, ask the question, does the AI have the ability to do better than just a chance predictor? And a chance predictor would say, whatever you did for the last three months, you'll probably do that tomorrow. And so a chance predictor is actually surprisingly not bad. So we wanted to make sure that the AI was smarter than something that was just chance. And so that paper explores how we did the math and, and how we compared these two things. But in fact, we did find that we were better than a chance predictor in identifying the risk of a seizure tomorrow in that large group of patients.